Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another review. And some time ago, I did a review of uh, the Elvis Styles and Elvis Conspiracy, and I wanted to throw the job I did on those videos, on that, on that videos, but on that topic. So I decided to redo it. Uh, I'm going to delete that video and replace it with this one. Uh, of course, it's a little more timely now than I'm doing this video now, because I'm doing this on August 15th. Uh, 2017, of course the next day is August 16th, and it's the 40th anniversary of Elvis dying. So I figured, oh, good idea to, to redo that video and do that now. So of course, let me say I mentioned what the topic is, and it's called the Elvis Files and the Elvis Conspiracy live uh, television shows. Of course, from the time I was like the fifth yeah, yeah, the uh, 15th anniversary of Elvis dying. Well, now it's uh, or Elvis Presley dying. Now it's 40 years later. Uh, so, uh, and when the this is the eve of the 40th anniversary of Elvis Presley dying. So I figured do we do this video on the 40th anniversary? Uh, like I said earlier, it's, been, it's going to be 40 years tomorrow that Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll passed away on uh, on alleged drug over drug overdose. Well of course people believe that he didn't really die and he faked his death. And of course over the years, especially in the late eighties and early nineties, there's a lot of Elvis Presley signs. Of course I think since then um, that all that stuff's pretty much died down quite a bit. Ever since in particular these two shows uh, it was it was syndic it was a syndicated live show. One was called the Elvis Files, and the other one was called the Elvis. Consp uh, one was called the Elvis Conspiracy, and the other one was called the Elvis Files. Both of them were hosted by Bill Bixby, and it's like two or three shows that Bill Bixby hosted. Uh, the other one being the Marilyn Files, based on you know the conspiracy theories based on Marilyn Monroe's death, like in 1962, which aired in in August of 1992. So it's like a bunch of syndicated shows that Bill Bixby hosted. I don't know why they got Bill Bixby involved in this thing, but it was a very good host. They did he did a damn good job. It was a very good production to make you believe in the conspiracy that Elvis actually uh, was alive and wasn't uh, didn't die of a drug overdose. Uh, well, the first one aired, I think, like in January, February '92, and the other one aired like a few, like about a month later. They were, I think one aired in January in '92, and the other one aired in February. And one of the shows, I forget which one it was, actually aired on Bill Bixby's birthday. And there was a segment where we got a few callers in there uh, to talk about you know, this conspiracy that Elvis was alive. And one of them wished Bill Bixby a happy birthday. Oh no, it was his birthday, so, so it was nice enough to wish him a happy birthday, and of course, thank you very much, and, and, but for the most part, it was detailing stories about why Elvis was actually alive. And it was two uh, reporters, one was Gail, um, Gail Borgio, and another one was uh, Marty uh, Melkerson, uh, I know I'm pronouncing their names, but uh, but one of them was, both of them had written a book about the same time about a similar subject. One was, the morning was book, was called The Elvis Presley Arrangement, and the other one, Miguel Borgio, I think her name pronounced, wrote a book called Orion. Now, the book of Orion was actually a fictional story about the singer who was uh, trapped by his own fame, and you couldn't go anywhere and stuff like that, and saying to fake his death. Well, that book was quickly removed from the from the shelves because it was too close to reality. What Elvis Presley was, and thinking, oh, this may be similar to what Elvis Presley is. So he did research and actually found out that he, it's possible. Uh, I hadn't found the concrete proof at least 25 years ago when they show when they shows there that Elvis Presley may have gone into the Witness Protection Program under the name of John Bowles and. You know, and, and they believe in this believed was the conspiracy that Elvis was actually alive. One of the other conspiracies that were 
from Elvis is, of course, the name. His middle name was misspelled in his gravestone. Yes, his middle name is his real name is Elvis Aaron Presley, and Aaron is, is actually spelled with one A instead of two A's because Elvis is actually an identical twin, and his identical twin uh, brother was uh, he died in childbirth. So, to honor the the dead brother, they took one A off of Elvis's middle name, Aaron. So. Well, it's Graceland. If you ever been to Graceland, I know, I, I know, I haven't. But if you ever been to Graceland, his middle name has an extra A in it, and his grave is in the wrong spot. His grave is supposed to be uh, close to his mother or something, and, and it's not. And you know all those crazy conspiracy theories. And it's also one story which is very good. Which is on. It's like a short version of these stories. It's on YouTube. One was. Before 50 minutes, another one is actually from the actual live show. One is just the taped or videotaped uh, story, so it's used in the Elvis conspiracy and Elvis files uh, programs about a guy who, like, a couple of months after Elvis died, went visit Graceland on New Year's Eve, I think New Year's Eve day in 1977, and visited. Took a picture of Elvis sitting in the doorway of the of the bat. Bath on um, bathhouse, and uh, which was completely stunning and stunning to see that. So of course, then of course, all these beliefs came up that Elvis actually was alive and stuff like that. Uh, I believe the, sh the the shows were pretty good. At least it gives you di a different perspective on Elvis and saying, "Oh, he's actually alive." Um, the second show, which was, I believe was the El was called the Elvis Files, uh, was uh, he had. So, and you can see that the, these signs on YouTube, each one is individually like about four, four or five of them. And those were, those were also good stories. But, but I think, all these people, did they really see Elvis or was that all, you know, bullshit? Uh, you, ha you, you have to, like, think of your own perspective if it's actually true stories or people think they're, that they're nuts to see Elvis. I know the TV show Mary with Children, which, took, which aired, like, at the beginning of the hype of these Elvis signs in the late 80s, uh, did an episode of that where, where Peggy saw Elvis in, in, the, in the mall, which Al's store was in. So, so, they played, so they played on that with all these Elvis nuts coming to Peggy's house to hear a story. And also, uh, she picked up one of Al's shirts and it has a switch. And of course, the Al switched through the shirt. And the sweat stain looked like Elvis Presley. So people were obsessed over 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 Al's uh, sweat stain, which made even funnier. But people do believe that Elvis is still alive. They part of the Witness Protection Program under the name John Bulls, and they investigate all this stuff. And on the first show of the Elvis of the Elvis Files, they showed a picture of a guy looking like Elvis visiting Muhammad Ali in the hospital. When Muhammad Ali was sick. And, you know, you're talking about the famous spy, Muhammad Ali, and it looks like in the background you see Jesse Jackson in the in the foreground. In the background you see a guy that looks like Elvis. Well, on the second show, the Elvis falls here. The guy says, "That's really me in the picture, the Elvis Presley." Uh, and even Muhammad Ali says, "If you think this fool is, is uh, Elvis is actually Elvis, then you're nuts." <laughs> and I mean, they put that in, in, the, in that clip of the Elvis file show is on YouTube. But for sure, like I said, my original video, I wish that, that this sh show is really on, the full show, these two shows, is on YouTube. Uh, they have the conspiracy, the Memorial Files, and the, which was on live TV, and, and pretty much intact. They did miss a minute or two of John Hall's story and the Memorial Files, but Prince, uh, the, the beginning of John Hall's story, when it was the ambulance driver went to Marilyn's house on the night she died, uh, but it's pretty much intact, that show, on, on YouTube. But unfortunately, the Elvis Files the f and the Elvis Conspiracy shows are not on YouTube. I've been trying to find them for a, for a while. Uh, ever since I, even when I did my original video of this topic, it's not on there. I wish, I wish there was I wish there was somebody who does have this show who taped it. Unfortunately, I, I did not tape it. I didn't convert it to uh, a CD and put it on YouTube. Uh, but I wish somebody has done that it has a, the full shows on YouTube because it's ridiculous and chopped chopped in pieces and stuff. 
So let me review of the Elvis Files and the Elvis Conspiracy and the 40th anniversary of Elvis' death. Please click on the video, please read it, feel free to comment on it, please subscribe to my channel, and please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check out all my videos on my YouTube uh, channel, but at rallyc.com, that's all W-D-Y, rallyc.com. There's a homepage to Rally Reviewer, Chris Lee Moore, and please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.